Let's learn how to add, change and delete the colors of gradients in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. On a blank canvas, I'm going to quickly draw out a shape. So I'm going to remove the stroke, keep the fill, grab the rectangle and just click and drag out a rectangle quickly, release. And if I come to my gradient tool and just click over the rectangle, I apply a gradient. Now by default, Illustrator will add a black and white gradient. So to change the color, we need to go to window, gradient and pull out our gradient panel. Now make sure we've selected this shape and then on my gradient slider, I can either double click the color and that will bring up a color picker. And from here now, I can either manually pick a color or I can input color values here. So click enter, let's do the same here, double click this one, grab a different color and click enter. Or if I come to my swatches panel and if I can't find that, go to window swatches. So I'm just gonna click and drag this out onto the screen so we can see it better. So if we select off this square and come over to my fill color here, if I double click it, I bring up my color picker I can now manually select a color either by inputting color values or by using the color picker. So once I'm happy with my color, click OK. And then if I come to my swatches panel, if I check add new swatch here, I've got my fill color selected here, click add new swatch, press OK. And then if I come back to my shape and select it, this will now activate the gradient panel and I can simply click and drag colors from the swatches onto the gradient and they will change accordingly. I can also add colors in this way. So if I hover the cursor over the slider, you'll see a little plus appears. So I can click, click and click to add colors and either double click them and manually pick colors or if I press enter, come to swatches, select the color I want and then click and drag it up and over a circle to add in that color. And if I want to remove colors, I can simply hover over them and click and drag them down and that removes them from the gradient slider. A common mistake people make, so if I select off here, you come to my gradient panel here. So I've got this selected. Now if I double click this color and I change it, so let's just change it to a yellow and press enter, you'll see now this hasn't updated on the shape. That's because I'm creating a gradient independent of the shape. So to make sure that I'm applying the gradient slider changes to the shape, I need to make sure it's selected first with selection tool or with the gradient tool and then come in and make changes on the slider. So double click here and there we go. Now it's making those changes. So if I select off it and then I come to gradient slider, I'm now creating a gradient independent of the shape on the canvas. So if I add another one here, double click and add an orange. So now I have this gradient here, but I don't have it on the shape. But what I can do is you can see here, my fill has been selected. So what's happening is the gradient I'm playing around with here is automatically being memorized as a swatch. So with fill selected, if I want to save this gradient, all I have to do in my swatches panel, make sure I've got fill selected, come down, create new swatch, and this will register as a gradient swatch. So if I click OK, I then create a gradient swatch, and now I can apply this to any shape or stroke on the canvas. One final thing, if I select the shape, if I press G, that's the hotkey for the gradient tool, and I can also make all these changes directly on the shape. You can see I've got my gradient slider here, so if I double click, I can actually change the color directly on the gradient slider that appears on the shape. Bear in mind, this is a feature that you would not find in older versions of Illustrator, so just bear that in mind. If you don't have this hotkey G feature, do it from the gradient panel. And there you are, a very simple crash course in adding, changing, and deleting gradient colors from the gradient slider. I hope you found that helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I will see you for the next tutorial.